Gaza. Israel, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Gaza Strip, this red one, right on the border, it's Nefiba Asara. And the history of this place that I told you, it's a, a unique uh, story. It's, uh, we used to be in another place. And I guess you probably have heard about people that move from one place to another. But the whole village that moved from one place to another, uh, it's not something that is really common. So we used to live in Sinai. Actually, it's on this map. On the other side of Gaza Strip, you can see this red dot. Mm -hmm. That was Nativa Asara back then. After the peace agreement with Egypt, we had to leave our houses. And don't ask me why, but the spot that they gave us is this one. We just moved from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. We wish it could have been closer to Tel Aviv, but that's what they gave us. And uh, uh, I'm telling you that because if you have to remember that most of the people that live here, uh, back then I was 13 years old, but my parents came here, so the families uh, gave their house for peace. Okay? Uh, back then I have to say that when I was 13 years old, uh, I didn't like the idea. Uh, I didn't <coughs> believe in peace. I thought it's another drill of the Egyptian and that they're going to attack Israel. Uh, I hated the Egyptians. I hated the Israeli government as a kid. Uh, but I can tell you that it was worth it. Okay, now it's more, uh, more than uh, 40 years uh, that we have the relationship with Egypt. I had a great opportunity to live in Cairo for three years because my father worked at the Israeli embassy in Cairo. Uh, so we left. 1982, 1985, we moved to Cairo. I lived there, it was really strange at the beginning, you know, to come and live in a place that you hate everybody, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of strange. Uh, but in a while I saw that there are people in Egypt, in Cairo, Egyptians, Arabs, Palestinians, 